Good evening. Let's get into it. This is Rose with the um, Fragrance Nook, and we are going to go over some fra uh, fragrances tonight, some fragrance discussions. I know that I hardly ever post on here anymore, and I really am sorry about that. I am going to get better. Uh, first, for those of you all who don't know, um, I actually had a Today I Learned moment. Today I learned that back in 2022, uh, Wholesale Supplies Plus bought out of uh, uh, nature's garden. So if you're used to paying like 16 or $17 a pound for some of your fragrances from nature's garden, buckle up baby. Cause they're about to go up. Okay. So we are trying out from Aztec, some new fragrances. Please don't trip on the nails. I've been making stuff all day and moving stuff all weekend. So, um, yes, they're torn up, but anyway, we are here for the fragrance reviews. Okay. Strawberry shortcake from the beginning. Yes, this is soap safe. Yes, it is nice. Yes, um, this can be used by itself, but the strawberry shortcake has a very light candy-like strawberry fragrance without it smelling too, um, like too much like chemical. I would definitely say this one could go really well with a nice grape, like a knee-high grape fragrance. If you're looking to make like a summer candy type fragrance for either your candles or your soaps. Uh, this one right here, I will be adding to the, the dessert line, but I'll be kicking it up a notch with a couple of other oils. Next, Appleberry. Appleberry actually has a very soft Macintosh red apple fragrance to it. Um, unidentified berry gives it a little bit of sweetness. This one right here, I can say you could add this to a Blackberry Bordeaux fragrance oil and come up with a nice little bougie boozy fragrance with it okay next is hibiscus paradise hibiscus paradise is almost something i would keep by itself but you know me and if you know me you know i'm going to blend the hell out of it so i would say blend this with a cute um pink grapefruit essential oil or you can do a blood orange and white grapefruit essential oil next um, sweet grass and dandelion. This one here, I would definitely say if you are one of those people who like to do the whole coastal sand dunes and sea spray or salt, uh, sea salt and caramel, something like that. This is the one you want to blend with, with any of those fragrances. This is a great ozone and nautical fragrance. Definitely highly recommend it. Go for it. Get it, get it done. Blackberry. Say no more. This one right here, you can blend this with um, Prosecco Cupcake. You can blend it with Pomegranate uh, Prosecco. You can blend this with, um, I see it in my mind's eye and I can't say it, Moscato. You can blend this with Moscato. Very nice, very beautiful. You can do this for like a boozy type fragrance or you can even do it with a breakfast type fragrance. What in the world is that? I don't know. All right. Next. Mold Cider. Yes, this one is one of the warmer fragrances. This one is one of the ones that you would think about going from late September into December. Um, you can keep it that way. You can bl blend it with uh, pecan pie. You can uh, blend it with a sweet potato pie fragrance. You can even go ahead and do this with a cranberry salsa. Uh, maybe acacia. This one is very versatile. So I would say this one right here, you can make six to seven different type fragrances with it and they'll all be great. All right. Next is Vermont Honey Apple. Um, so I normally don't do a lot of the Bath and Body Works types, but this one right here is a very nice, light um, honey apple fragrance that is not cloying, is not saccharine. So I definitely say this could go as a high end perfume, maybe even into a spa type fragrance, depending on how you want to make it. Um, you can, if you can find a really good, I pretty much like doing lime. I have an Italian lime that I like using, um, for an essential oil. You can do that with this one. Um, you can also elevate this with adding honey and vanilla, uh, fragrance oils to it and you can even use this as like um, a spa salt so this one's a good one it doesn't have to be a dessert type thing all right so cranberry joy so you heard me speak of cranberry salsa earlier that is from rustic essentials now owned by wsp 
Uh, cranberry joy is one of those that you would definitely want to use as a building block. So with the cranberry joy, I would definitely say a sweet orange or a blood orange. If you're going to go to the dark side with this one and do blood orange, I would also recommend adding a patchouli in there, an aged patchouli, aged three to five years because it's going to ground it and give it some sweetness. Next one is smoked cedar and icy moss. This one is another winter fragrance for me, but this is like a ski lodge type fragrance. Wait a minute, let me make sure this is what I'm thinking about. I think it is. Yeah, yeah. This is the ski lodge fragrance, like when you're in the actual lodge itself, not the room. So I would say with this one, um, Alpine Frost Silver Fur Needle, um, you can add those as accentuations to it. Arctic Frost um, definitely is a good one. I would go with, and then, um, oh, you know what? You can even do Ozark Forest with these. So that's the next one. All right, so Green Tea Energy, again, a light one that if you're going for a spa type fragrance or ozone type fragrance, you can leave this alone or you could add something kind of light to it to um just give it some depth. I would say a black pepper essential oil. And I know you said, oh my gosh, how is black pepper light? It's all in how you blend, Suge. It's all in how you blend. Okay. So the next one is rose coconut oud. And I have to say, woo woo woo. I love this one right here. Okay. So um, rose is very hard to get a good one that doesn't smell like old ladies. So there's an English rose, English tea rose, there is a yellow rose, there's a regular rose, there's a rose in fragrance oil blend. This one right here um, is a, actually, it's a very perfect, balanced fragrance. You can use this one as romance. I would say if you were going to use this one for romance, I would say make it a, um, a, uh, a linen spray. Make it a linen spray. Make this one some one of those things where, you know, they used to teach us in the late 90s, early 2000s on how to layer fragrances. They don't all have to be the same, but kind of like in the same family. This is one of the ones. This is one of the ones if you're going to set the spa mood or the romance mood, this is the one that you would want to either have as your linen spray or this is the one that you would want to have um, um, scenting up your, your bath towels that you have in your, like your towel warmer. Um, this, of course, I'm not going to leave alone. I'm going to add some stuff to it. You'll see when I get done with it. And then lastly, sandalwood. Okay, so we all know that an actual sandalwood is expensive. I burn the sandalwood um, incense myself and damn, is that thing sexy. So um, Brambleberry used to have a really good sandalwood. Oh gosh, back when they used to have the syllable fragrances. Um, Sibylla fragrances. This one here, I would have to say for the price, it's not bad, but this is definitely one you would definitely want to add some depth to it, maybe with some um, Italian bergamot or some um, Himalayan cedar wood, something like that. Even You can even do a sage leaf, add some sage leaf to this. I would definitely say um, underpin the fragrance with some green notes and you can come off with a very, very versatile little catalog all based off of this sandalwood. So those are my fragrances that I received last week or the week before. Anyway, so I have them sitting here on my desk. I was making some notes on them. So if you want to learn how to blend or if you want to book a consultation, of course, always hit me up on um, my website, which is paypal, excuse me, payhip.com forward slash the fragrance nook. Um, if we're doing an hour long session, just know it starts at $500 and you have to be in your lab, fully dedicated, no distractions, none whatsoever, because once the clock starts and when it's time for it to stop, we stop whether you have used your full hour or not. So book with me, get your consultations. Let's build some fragrances and have some fun.